Hello, in this video, I'm going to explain how do we use Solid Edge ST9 to create a 3D part. When you open the Solid Edge, you will see a screen more or less similar as this one. If you have opened files recently, you will see at least a file appears here, same as the folder here. If you have access to the folder, you will appears, the folder will appears here. But if you want to create a new part, you need to click on this new. And then you have a new screen come up. There are some folders here. Uh, we use this one, GB metric part to create parts, 3D parts. We use a GB metric assembly to put the part together. We use GB metric draft to produce 2D drawings based on 3D parts. Okay, let's create the block by using GB metric part. Just need mirror to this icon and click. You'll see a new window appears. In this new window, you'll see this is an orange bar here. Uh, it says ordered. There are two different ways to use a solid edge to create part. One is called ordered. The other one is called synchronous. Uh, for the new user or the beginner, we use ordered, which allows us to modify and change things evenly. So throughout the course, we always used ordered. To create a 3D part, we use some commands here listed. Solid. You can see some of a blue, some of a gray out. The blue are alive. You can use straight away the, the gray out one are the one you only can use when you have these 3D parts. To create a block, we use extrude. As you can see the animation here, the extrusion start from a 2D profile and, and drag into the third direction. Extrude into the third direction. So we need to actually create a 2D profile first. To create 2D profile, you click this extrude command. Then you move your mouse to the working area. You can choose one of these three planes, front, right, and top. Any of these will do the job, but normally we choose front. Click. You will see a new window appears. This is your front plane. On this plane, you can create a 2D profile. For the block, we use some of these commands to create different features like circle, red angle, and lines. For the block, you can use red angle. We can use a straight line. Red angle shape is quicker. We use a red angle by two points command. So click the triangle here, and then you have this. Then you can click on this command. Then you move your mouse back to the window. You can locate your mouse somewhere in this area. It does not really matter in precise area. Then you need to actually click and release your mouse button key and drag it away from the point you click. Now you can see on the screen there's a red at red angle box, then there's other three uh, small boxes with the dimensions. Here, we enter different dimensions to fix the dimension of the rectangle shape. First one in the 50, second one into 40, and the last one is the orientation of the this rectangle shape. We keep this as zero. Then we press enter or the return key on your keyboard. You'll see the, uh, the box is fixed the next is to move into the third direction. So we have finished the profile. We move to the third direction by click one of these green tick, either this one in the working area or this one on the two bar. It's called cloud sketch. So if we click, the system go back to the 3D. Here you can see Without press mouse button down, you can see you move your mouse, you can see the, the, the block extrude to different lengths. 
So the distance here, if we want to actually fix that dimension, if we put a 30, press enter, dimension is fixed. In order to finish anything, we need to actually click on the screen anywhere. Then the block change its color from blue to the gray. That allows us to do the next step. The next step could be go back to re-edit the, the, the thickness or just click on finish, finish the uh, creation of the block. Remember, click on cancel after you finish the, that step. Now you can actually move to the top corner to save the block by clicking on save. Before you actually uh, save the file to the proper folder, you need to actually create a folder on your desktop. I create one, it's called CAD 2016. So then you can put the name like block, I press enter, the file is saved. So that's it for this video.